coming up on today's episode of Airborne Affordable Flyers. AEA seeks to extend Mosaic and PRM comment period. German Rotax fly-in sees wide turnout. Development of Dark Arrow prototype proceeding apace. Welcome to Airborne Affordable Flyers, our new programming designed to help you get and stay in aviation as affordably as possible. Overseen by the editorial staff of the award-winning Sport Plane Resource Guide, we know well the challenges faced by today's sport flyers and we're here to help you enjoy flying to the utmost. Let's get into today's stories. AEA seeks to extend Mosaic and PRM comment period. Recently, the FAA published its proposal for the Modernization of Special Airworthiness Certification, or Mosaic. The proposal's primary purpose is to expand the definition and number of aircraft eligible for future certification as an LSA, and expand also the authority and opportunities of those individuals certificated as sport pilots under Part 60 of the FARs. Notwithstanding the buzz mosaic has occasioned amongst pilots and aeronautical stakeholders, AEA notes that little mention has been made of the FAA's intentions under mosaic to amend nine discrete regulations. Moreover, the docket includes 17 supporting documents, including two draft ACs, 129 footnotes, 26 Federal Register sites, and seven policy documents equating to well over 1,000 pages of information. The NPRM proposes to amend 14 CFR Parts 1, 21, 22, 36, 43, 45, 61, 65, 91, and 119. While the public's focus has remained largely fixed on the expanded sport pilot privileges and limitations and the weight and performance increases of LSAs, AEA has focused primarily on three areas. Continued airworthiness, the impact of the proposal on the GA maintenance industry, replacement of parts and accessories, and alterations and modifications. Personnel, LSA repairmen, maintenance privileges and limitations, impact on workforce development. Repetitive Rulemaking, Part 23 Rewrite versus Mosaic. The AEA, in conjunction with a number of industry partners, has requested a 90-day extension of the Mosaic and PRM comment period. And coming up after the break, Midwest LSA Expo starts today. I think it's a very important thing to share the joy and love of flying. Our customers fly to remote places. They use our products to go places that are difficult to get to. Parts has been an excellent partner for Whip Air, uh, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demands. And it is that shared experience and the joy of flying that brings us all back and charges all of our batteries up. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Midwest LSA Expo starts today. The ANN crew is enjoying the sights at the Mount Vernon, Illinois-based Midwest LSA Expo today, the start of the annual event. The 15th annual Midwest LSA Expo starts today and continues through Saturday, September 9th. Midwest LSA Expo Inc. specifically organized the unique event to sell LSA, LSA ancillary services, and LSA-related services. The event is fun, laid back, extremely friendly, and is based at one of the coolest airports in the Midwest, along with a very good airport restaurant. We'll have on-site reports for you shortly. Skyworks Aeronautics readying for utility gyroplane testing. Based on a former sport aircraft, Skyworks Aeronautics might be taking to the skies with their utility-oriented Hawk 5 gyroplane in the near future, paving the way for the unorthodox offering to make a name for itself in the public safety GA market. The Hawk 5 offers a 5C, lightweight, short takeoff aircraft with 450 shaft horsepower from a Rolls Royce turboprop engine. Payload sits at 1,825 pounds, with max fuel to carry at 315 nautical miles at 120 knots. EAA Chapter 534 to host Pancake Breakfast. On September 30th, EAA's Chapter 534 will host a pancake breakfast at their hangar at the Leesburg International Airport in Florida. In addition to serving a menu of pancakes, sausage patties, and coffee or juice, the event will afford attendees the opportunity to visit the chapter's hangar, meet its members, and learn about the Squadron 534 youth group. 
EAA Chapter 534 brings together a group of individuals who have many years of aviation experience, knowledge, and an interest in sharing their hard-won, well-earned knowledge with others. Sun and Fun 2024 tickets now available. The 50th Annual Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo is on schedule for April 9th through 14th, 2024. And as usual, the ANN crew has a lot to do with all the aviation goodness to be found in Lakeland, Florida that time of year. It will be a massive year and we are privy to some really great surprises and additions that could make this year's event the best ever. Ticket sales have already started and we suggest you rush over to flysnf.org slash tickets to get yours early. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. German Rotax fly-in sees wide turnout. A Rotax-branded shindig at the Weissamovavels airfield saw a strong turnout of almost 300 guests from across the continent and beyond. The numbers may not be eye-popping to an American audience accustomed to thousands of aircraft making a pilgrimage to whichever state is holding the biggest bash from one season to the other, but 130 aircraft and 280 attendees is solid work for a niche hobby in the EU. The turnout, quote, marked one of the best visited years for the event, end quote, according to Rotax, and it was held in their own backyard, no less. The usual fly-in stuff littered the field with demos and sales, trial flights, and a guided tour of the Rotax facility. Peter Olsinger, general manager of BRP Rotax and member of the management board, vice president of sales, marketing, RPS, business, and communications, said, quote, Promoting exchanges within our community is of great importance to us. This allows us, both as a company and as an industry, to keep evolving. We see ourselves as an integral part of this special community. We are committed to continuing our dialogue and customers in the future, and fly-ins provide the ideal setting for such interactions. The success of the Rotax fly-in and Vals reinforces our decision to expand this event concept internationally." End quote. And after these messages, development of Dark Arrow prototype proceeding apace. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Development of Dark Arrow Prototype proceeding apace. Work continues on the Dark Arrow 1 prototype with late summer 2023 efforts focused on testing and the accomplishment of minor remaining systems tasks, such as improving the aircraft's landing gear articulation system, refining the canopy jettison system, realigning elevator hinges, and heat shielding the remainder of the machine's engine compartment. Efforts are underway also to bring on additional technicians for the purpose of accelerating progress on the Dark Arrow 1 prototype and supporting increased demand for Dark Arrow services. Founded, owned, and funded by brothers Riley, River, and Keegan Carl, Dark Arrow is the embodiment of a shared aspiration to develop a kit aircraft offering speed, range, and efficiency. The aircraft is the Dark Arrow 1, a single reciprocating engine, low-wing, retractable tricycle undercarriage, normal category airplane, the claimed performance of which beggars belief. With a fuselage length of 18 feet, a wingspan of just under 24 feet, and an empty weight of 750 pounds, the Dark Arrow 1 is not a large airplane. The machine's 750-pound useful load impresses, as does the 5.2-liter six-cylinder, four-stroke, 200-horsepower, UL-power, UL520IS engine by which it's motivated. The Dark Arrow 1 reportedly has the potential to offer a 240-knot cruise speed, 1,477 nautical mile range, and flight level 200 service ceiling. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!